96.3 FM. I'm your host, Lonnie Good, and this is Good Stuff. We're here every Tuesday and Saturday at 5 p.m. Come, sit a spell. This is Lonnie, Lonnie Good, with Fearless Radio 96.3 on your FM dial. Now streaming worldwide. You can find us at Fearless. 963.com I'm the newest member of the staff here at Fearless and uh, I hope that this is the first of many to come I'm excited about that I've been thinking about this show since I've talked to Mark and Carol about this and thinking about a name for it and I think for now I'm just going to call it good stuff and that's not out of a, a pride or arrogance or you know using my name but it's more of an opportunity to honor my earthly father who gave me that name. My dad died while serving with a civil air patrol on a search and rescue mission back in 1964. And that's a story that I want to share at some time, but uh, not today. I want to say that I'm looking for people who want to talk. <laughs> There's a lot of them, right? I want to, I'm, I'm looking for people with stories uh, people with questions, people with answers to come and to contribute to this program. So just shoot me a message. Just uh, My number is 509-422-1400. I've told people, who, who is Lonnie Good? And, I, and I've told people that if they just put me in a pot and boil me down, at the end of the day, all would be left in the pot as a songwriter. I wrote a book a few years ago, and it's an autobiography, and it's called Music Runs Through It, because music, it seems to be the one consistent thread in my, in my life. As a, as a writer, I also like to sing, which I have still something that I'm working at. Currently, I'm the worship pastor at Breath of Life Church here in East Wenatchee, and I want to invite you to come on out. Our service is at 10 o'clock. Uh, on Sunday mornings. It's at 65 23rd Street. That's just off Sunset Highway. Uh, so tonight, t- today, I'm going to just start off with a brand new song. It's called Gimme Faith. And then I'm going I'm to give that a spin. And then we'll spend a couple minutes talking about faith. So here is Give Me Faith. Give me faith, give me faith Lord, increase my faith Help me believe In what you're doing, in what you're saying Each and every day Grow the seed in me I out in my hometown Show you love to all my friends I will let go of all my doubt Let your light shine again Give me faith Give me faith Lord, increase my faith Help me believe In what you're doing What you're saying Each and every day Grow the seed in me Give me faith, give me faith, Lord, increase my faith. Help me believe in what you're doing, what you're saying, each and every day. Grow the seed.
In the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 6, we find a very telling verse. It says that we cannot, without faith, it's impossible to please him. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists, and he rewards those who seek him. People struggle with faith. Even Jesus' own disciples struggled. My good friend, Philip Moreland, he uses a term to express when someone is going through a rough patch, and he'll say, they're on the struggle bus. There's a story about a man in the Gospel of Mark in chapter 9 in verse 24. He and his whole family were on the struggle bus. His son had violent convulsions. Many times the boy would end up in a fire, falling into the fire or falling into the water or onto the ground. He would foam at the mouth. And the man brought his son to the disciples, hoping that they could heal him, but they could not. And Jesus rebuked them for their unbelief and then began talking to the man. The man said to Jesus, if you can, help us. <laughs> can you imagine? Jesus' response is recorded. He says, if you can? <laughs> you serious, dude? And then he said, everything is possible for one who believes. And the boy's father cried out, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. Jesus, of course, healed the boy, casting a demon out of him. And the man's comment is what I want to focus on. I do believe, but help me overcome my unbelief. See, I think a lot of us are on the struggle bus when it comes to simply believing. But this man was honest with his own struggle and simply asked for help. And his request was not denied, but was answered in a big way. Are you on the unbelieving struggle bus? Just ask God to help you. He will respond in the affirmative. If your heart's cry is honest and directed at him. Faith. We can't please God without it. But he doesn't leave us in a bad place. He says, just come, ask me to increase your faith. Or come on, give me something to work with, and I'll meet you there. God is good. I'm Lonnie Good, and you're listening to Good Stuff on Fearless 96.3 on your FM dial. We'll talk again soon. <laughs> just listening to some good stuff. I've been your host, Lonnie Good. I'll be right here waiting for you Tuesdays and Saturdays at 5 p.m. Y'all come back now. Blessings. <laughs>